I'm Matthew Evans, the gourmet farmer. Poe's come back to our island state in search of inspiration for new recipes. So we've hit the road to meet the makers and reveal how they do things Tassie style. Today we're off to the Derwent Valley, just north of Hobart, which is renowned for its abundance of high quality fresh produce from local growers. This is someone I'm dying for you to meet. She's known as Tasmania's Nan. We're here to see Sally Wise, the guru of slow cooking and the master of preserving. So lovely to meet you finally. Over the wheelbarrow. Yes! <laughs> A friend of ours up at Macquarie Plains drops these really interesting things into me. That's an ancient beetroot, rutabagas, and he says, have a play with these, Sally. And it's like, yes. Holy what? moly. What? That is a mangle wurzel of the Derwent Valley. It's nearly as big as you. <laughs> it's crazy. Have you fed Doris yet today? No, I have some porridge in the slow cooker for C her. Can we show Poe? Doris. <laughs> Here, right about that one. Oh yeah, green porridge. Oh, num num. Matthew? <laughs> After meeting Sally's extended family, we were both intrigued to see what else she had in store for us. All right, this is the kitchen. Look at this. Yes. This is where it all happens. Smell this is my that. playroom. And you're, you're like a senior Tasmanian of the year for yes, 2019? Yeah, that's right. See why. I just like to feed people, you know, and just. Yeah, play about with food, seasonal produce, and the produce of the valley is so exceptional and diverse. For a long time, there just wasn't much of an awareness of seasonality in Australia. That's true. And now I think people are more aware of it. I really love winter cooking. Winter is such a comforting, comfortable time. And I love the comfort food mm. that goes with that, you know, the pies and the breads and the braises. And it's just, it's, it's just all the perfect package. Sally loves to share her knowledge and her cooking school allows visitors to experience classes from everyday cooking to creating delicious preserves. But you also bring people yes. to the farm, don't you? Yes, we have a little cooking school here and it's just for fun. We're supposed to be retired, but I don't actually know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> we have um, a lot of people come for cooking classes, sometimes two or three classes a week. It's such fun and people to share cooking with, then you know, it's kind of interactive. They, it's hands-on class, but along the way they tell you their cooking tips and some of them are so valuable. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh yum. John Carmichael, he never lets me down. You name your ovens too? Well, I do, because he has a little tendency to smoke. <laughs> this is a Hussar's roast. Essentially, it's a lovely piece of valley beef, and then you cut slits into it and you put a stuffing into that. Don't drop it, Matthew. I'll try not. It's pretty heavy. We have the mangle wurzel puree. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm. That is beautiful. It is. It's really lovely and matches with so many things. And I thought it'd be really watery, something that big yeah. is just going to be sort of washed out in flavour, but. No. I love the way that you created this warming, hearty meal using winter vegetables and summer preserves. Into the summer past, you know, and mm. into the, injected into the warmth of winter. Yes, yeah, so when you have the luxury mm. of your own gooseberries, you can let them get ripe. Mm. Normally they're so green. Oh, that's so good. The tartness is so good. Mm. Sally, thank you so much for having us. I knew I was going to love this and I truly did. It's been so special. I have so many memories to take home and it's been all right having you around. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, you were Tasmania's nan. <laughs>